All right, everybody, welcome back to Night Ripper Sports Cards. It's the time I've been waiting for all week. We're going to get into this jumbo box of Topps Chrome 2024. We are looking for three autographs in this box. There are 12 packs with 13 cards per pack. That makes it 100 and... Sorry, I'm trying to do math right now. 157 cards in each box. Or 156, sorry, 156. Um, we're looking for the MVP buyback potential candidates. Um, right now, Judge and Otani still lead that. Uh, we'll see if that changes during the second half of the season. Today is the first day back with baseball after the all-star break and man has it been a fun day Vladdy Guerrero Jr. my first baseman on my fantasy team hit like a 440 something footer today so it's been a lot of fun alright let's set this one up like we did the last one too let's get it actually popped up here We got one pack out of sorts here. It's not wanting to behave. Alright, I have to take all these out. To get it to stand up. And in the process, we're going to end up mixing all these up. If you guys watched my first video from Topps Chrome, the uh, hobby box, man, was that one a lot of fun. Just kept pulling Ellie's out of that sucker. I couldn't believe it. I'm going to start off with an Evan Carter rookie. We'll take that all day long. Meckler, heck yeah. And an all etch, Kershaw. Prism Refractor, Ryan Noda, and the regular Refractor, Bryce Terang. All right. There's our other all etch there. So in here we're looking for any autographs, any short prints, things like that. There's image variations of everyone. Dansby Swanson, the Arizona boy. Glaber, Prism, Josh Hader, regular refractor. I think the uh, All Edge rookies or the rate, uh, what are they called? It's the shorter print, all etch. We pulled an LED La Cruz out of the hobby box of it. CES, we'll take that. Colton Kowser, we'll take that. Jarvis for my Diamondbacks. Um, can't remember. There's a Shohei. We'll take any Shohei's, and that's. I don't know if they consider the 89 an insert or if it's a or if it's a regular card, but it is a refractor, so hopefully they do consider that a regular card for the buyback promotion. That'd be sick. Salvador Perez on the strokes. Chapman and JJ Blade were the two refractors there. Mason Wynn. Man, there's a lot of good rookies in this 
this year in this set. Sal Frank for the D-backs. All right. Looks like, nope, not yet. Jake Berger's gonna be covering up. I think this is just a Future Stars, yeah. But it's Volpe, we'll take that. There's our first auto, and it's a rookie, Alan Winans, for the Braves. Heck yeah. It's uh, not a big rookie, but it's a rookie auto, so we'll take it. Pop him on the stand for now. I forced myself to wait until the end of the week to open this pack. And we've got gold. We've got gold back there. There's Westberg. Can we get a gold auto? How sick would that be? On the future stars, Yander Diaz. Zach Wheeler on the refractor. It's for the Mets. Not an autograph. Kodai Senga, gold cup card to 50. We'll take that all day long. Fantastic gold to pull. I guess of the Mets, currently, it's probably the one I would prefer to pull. I personally like him as a pitcher, but I don't know. I can think of other people we wanted on the gold, but you know, that's all right. At least we got one, right? Could have been purple to. 250 or whatever, so. Alright. If you guys, this pack marks about the halfway point. If you guys have made it this far, make sure to drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Still working towards even just getting 100 subscribers. I'm not sure what it'll do for me, but, you know, we're just going with the flow. A Rosarina on the All Edge. And Julio. Oh, looks like we got another Prism. Bryce Harper. Heck yeah. All right. And Estuary Ruti. Estru. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that one. That's a tough one. Pulled four Ellie's out of that hobby box, and we haven't seen them once yet tonight. Let's get one. Looks like we might have our second auto in this pack. Yastrzemski. Are you blocking our other auto? DCA. Nope, it's an 89 refractor rookie for PCA. We'll take that. And JDOM. All right, I need some sleeves here. Make sure we don't have our other auto back here. Did we get a negative? Hell yeah. We did get a negative. Rookie Coco Montez negative. We'll take that. All right, need a couple sleeves here. With Jadom. On the strokes. Coco negative. These are cool. Probably, aside from the radiating rookies, these are probably my favorite variation. I think they're sick.
sticks are hard to keep straight and curl. Alright. Still looking for two more autos. We've got five more packs, including this one. There's Kessinger. Canzone. We haven't seen any of the other inserts either. It's a summertime in the park. Ronald Acuna. Nice. That's a good one. Castillo, Pete Alonzo. These are really cool. Twenty-five percent chance that this pack's got an autograph in it. Jordan Wicks. We got a Yamamoto. Heck yeah! Is this a color variation of the future? No, I don't think so. I think it's just a normal Future Stars, but it's kind of purpley because it's the Rockies. But we got another numbered card. It's an A. It's a rookie. Uh, Soderstrom. And it's an auto. Yep, Soderstrom. Heck yeah, 48 out of 250. Numbered rookie auto. We'll take it. the worst autograph I've seen. All right, let's see. Okay, Soto on the strokes, we'll take that. Kirstad, 89 rookie. Heck yeah. Oh, there's our other auto. I think we're going to let that one sweat, guys. Right behind Kirstad. So he turns into a monster. We're going to hope for a monster on that one. There's Jackson. It's crazy that the Chrome Auto is his first base auto. They didn't get him into Series 2 as a like base rookie. He had rookies, obviously. They're the, the ones everybody's chasing, even still, including me. I've opened plenty of it, and I haven't gotten one of the short prints of him, so they're definitely rare. It's crazy that the Chrome is technically his first official base rookie card. Looks like we got another numbered card. It's going to be green to 99 is what it looks like. Pretty much everything green in this product is to 99. So An all etch, Byron Buxton. Let's take a shirt. Yeah, sure, sir. Sorry, I was, my eyes were messing with me there. Numbered. Is it a rookie? No. Tyler Crapley, rookie. Oh, there it is. There's the badge to 99. 95 of 99. We'll take that. All right, now we got the big sweat. Now 
Now we get the big sweat. All right, Kerstad. We got a ranger. We got a ranger. A rookie ranger. Is this gonna be an Evan Carter auto? Alex Space. Oh man. What a letdown that was. Oh, huge anticipation and build up. Oh. Again, rookie auto will take it, but man. I guess we didn't let him marinate long enough back there behind Kierstead. But we will take it. The Soderstrom to 250. The Wienens base auto, Cropley non auto to 99. Kodai to 50. And Alex Spies auto base rookie. Overall, I mean, three numbered cards. We got tons of good rookies, some good refractor rookies. We got a low numbered to 50. Not the biggest autos, not the ones we were hoping for, but hey, those are going to be, you know, one in a million. I know that. So, overall, still a great rip. Still had a lot of fun. Tops Chrome. I know a lot of people are giving top shit right now. Um, honestly, I uh, agree with a. I, I agree with most people to a certain extent. Um, I think that the Breaker's Delight format was created simply to satisfy the, the breakers and bolster the brakes and things like that, but I do think it is a crappy way um, for them to do that. Now, that that's because all of those, you know, signatures and numbered cards and everything should be in all of the other formats right monster boxes the blasters heck even these hobby formats um you know you want to satisfy those uh i get i am or uh increase the price on hobby but you've also increased you know the number of autographs or something you get per box that's understandable what i don't get is reducing the number and still increasing the price um removing product like removing parallels and numbered things out of it to add to another format that you're charging just as much or more uh when if you had left those things in and increased the prices of like blasters and monster boxes uh, I feel like everybody would be okay with it, but you know, you took product out of retail uh, and then increased the price, even if it's five dollars, it doesn't matter. You took you took stuff out of it and then increased the price. If you took stuff out of it and left it left the price the same, I don't you know I don't think we're having as much of a conversation about this, but it's kind of crappy, right? Like. I get that it's probably making them more money, it's making breakers more money, but, uh, you know, people like me that are just doing this for fun, um, I'd like to do some breaks maybe for people, but that's because I just enjoy opening cards. Um, I'll still open some for myself and collect, but honestly, I, like, I don't know. I probably won't just because it's so friggin' expensive to buy most of this stuff. And uh, I just, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know where it's going, but uh, those changes aren't my favorite. I'll still buy and collect, um, but seems kind of seems kind of crappy to do to your customer base, so. 
uh, with that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. I go hope you guys like watching me open these cards. I really do just enjoy opening them. I enjoy communicating with you guys, everybody that's commented on my videos and I've interacted with. Thank you so much um, for subscribing. Thank you for liking. If you guys have made it all the way to this far, please remember to do those things for me. Drop me a comment. Um, on everything I just said and how you feel about it, I guess. Um, I'm always interested to hear people's opinions, especially people that have been collecting for a lot longer because I know um, I only recently started collecting within the last year, so I don't have a lot to base my knowledge off of, but I do know that the prices on everything are ridiculous. And even just these two... Uh, boxes that I opened. This box, those autographs, nowhere near made me my money back or had the value. Not, how do I put it? Um, the value of the box at 400 and something dollars, uh, these cards, which are going to be the ones that have or hold the most value, uh, they do not equal that value, right? Uh, and as soon as these packs are opened, they no longer hold that value, right? So it's tough. Uh, it's tough for everybody out there. It's tough to see the value in a $400 box for three autographs uh, of... Uh, I mean, they're rookies. So the idea is hold and hopefully they turn into something. Um, but... I don't know, the value just, I don't see it, right, like, but the value is in the fun right now for me, and I had a blast, so come back for the next one, thank you guys for watching.